Welcome back to my channel and to my first Christmas vlog. So I don't think I actually talked about this with you guys at all, but I basically decided that this month for the festive season, I'm basically just going to be doing Christmassy vlogs, which my followers will know is very unusual for me because I don't usually vlog like at home. But honestly guys, I have so many wonderful things in the diary for this month. I really made the decision that this Christmas, I just wanted to make the most of everything and do everything, see as many friends and family as possible and just really have the best Christmas. And honestly, my favorite videos of mine to watch back and actually the only ones I ever watch back are my travel vlogs. And my favorite ever video of mine to watch back is my Christmas in New York vlog where I went to New York with Josie and JJ was there and it's just so, so magical. And then I thought that actually London is just as magical as New York at Christmas time. And I have so many lovely things um, to do and I thought that I could share it with you and bring a little bit of that London Christmas magic to you. So that's what's going to be happening this month. I'm really, really excited and I hope you are too. Although for the first vlog, we're actually not gonna be leaving the flat at all because as you have seen by the title, today I'm going to be decorating my flat for Christmas. Obviously, I'm really, really excited for this. I've been thinking about this day probably ever since I put the offer in for the flat, thinking how magical and beautiful it would be at Christmas. So we're going to decorate it together today. So I actually went to get my tree two days ago with my dad, um, which was really fun, but it was really wet because it's been raining a lot in London for the last couple of weeks. Um, so obviously you can't decorate it whilst it's wet and you kind of want to let it drop a little bit as well before you decorate it. Um, and then I also have lots of decorations for the rest of the lounge. I kind of don't want to do every single room in the flat because I feel like it's a bit too much. So I'm gonna focus on like my hallway area and my lounge. So here is the tree in all of its naked glory. I'm so, so thrilled with the tree. It's gigantic. It looks so magnificent. And yes, it's a real tree. It smells amazing. Um, it's definitely like a tradition for my family to always get a real tree every year. Um, so my dad came and got this with me and put it up for me. It's standing up really well, actually. And um, we put a little uh, spare floorboard down um, so that the stand doesn't scratch the floor and also there's no water damage when we water it. Um, but yes, I'm so excited. This is my first tree. It's so grand and oh, I just can't wait to decorate it. So I'm not sure exactly what yet, but we definitely need to do something in this hallway, like maybe give the swan a little festive makeover, do something with the sign maybe hang something off of the light fitting. Obviously, we have the Nutcracker who is permanently stationed here. He is my doorman who looks after the keys. But I feel like maybe we can put him in a bit more of like a prime position seeing as this is his season. It's kind of his time to shine. So I've got my decorations out, which is so exciting. A lot of these were um, stuff I already had that I used to decorate my bedroom at home with, like the two Pandora boxes are filled with decorations from home, but then I obviously did need to buy more um, because I only had like a tiny little tree in my bedroom and now I have a pretty big tree um, and also just stuff, like more stuff to fill the room. The table is also absolutely full of decorations. Um, some of these are things I already had and then some of them are new this year. I'll try and quickly tell you guys like roughly where everything is from. So the sparkly peonies are from HomeSense. Um, the swan and the peacock, the pink peacock here. Um, I actually got these from B&M. I got a lot of decorations from B&M. I had honestly never been to B&M in my life until two years ago when I put a story out on my Instagram and asked my followers, like, where can you get really nice Christmas decorations that aren't too expensive? Because I was buying everything from like my local garden centers. And I don't know if you guys have ever been and bought decorations at the garden centers, but they're so expensive um so my followers all told me to go to b&m and i went and i was honestly like amazed at how gorgeous the decorations are there they have like every color scheme 
and everything is really, really affordable. So I got this swan, which is probably my favorite thing because as you guys know, this is the swan flat. It has a little bit of a swan theme. I also got this pink peacock um, and then I got this peacock who's also beautiful from the garden center, but she was really expensive. These beads um, I already had and then I just got some more from B&M as well. I also got these beautiful white glittery um, clip-on roses. These were from HomeSense. These little robins are from a variation of places. I got this one from a cute little gift shop in Bath. Um, this one is pretty big. This was from the garden center as well. That one was really expensive. And then this one I already had from before, this cute little robin. Um, so I don't remember that one's from. Um, what else? Oh, my pig. My pig I got from HomeSense a few weeks ago, even before I was like looking for Christmas decorations. I just saw this pig and I was like, oh my God, that is me. I love this pig so much. She's actually been out on display like for the last few weeks, even before I was decorating for Christmas because she's so beautiful. Look at her eyelashes and her sparkly heels and her feather boa scarf oh my god she's so fabulous i have these lovely little like sparkly flowers um that were from the garden centers um and then ball balls i kind of went a little bit mad the only thing i don't have is like base ball balls you know like plain ones but i'm just gonna have to make do um i got these gold sparkly ones from b m these beautiful embellished ball balls from home sense I think these ones with like fake lace on from Home Sense as well. Also, these incredible embellished ones were from Home Sense as well. You can literally get everything at Home Sense, it's the best. And then these ones I got um, the other day. Again, these were expensive from the garden center, but look how pretty it is. It's got like little pearls on. So, so lovely. Um, and then the decorations over here, I got the gold sparkly snowflakes from the garden center. I also got this absolutely adorable little Christmas hair with a crown on. That was from um, the garden center, Gisela Graham. Actually, a lot of the decorations are Gisela Graham. Um, I also got this really cute little heart. It's like a velvet embellished heart. And that was from B&M. The Nutcracker was from the garden center. Um, I got this really adorable little pink sparkly um, gingerbread horse, rocking horse from HomeSense. I just think that's so, so cute and festive. And then I think also from HomeSense, I got this like Mother Hubbard boot, like a gingerbread boot, which has got sparkles and it actually lights up. So I've got batteries to um, light it up. And then this little cute Nutcracker was from B&M as well. So I did really, really well. Like I've got a really nice variety. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the houses. So these are little white and gold sparkly houses. And these also light up, which is very, very adorable. So I actually got these um, Christmas lights from the garden center and it said they were warm white, but when I plugged them in, they were literally orange. They were so, so ugly. Um, so then I got these ones from Robert Dias because these are the ones that my parents have on their tree. And they're a lot better. They're just a lot whiter. Um, they obviously do have like a warm yellowy tint, which I think is nicer than kind of a bluish cool tint. I've also got this really beautiful piece of fresh mistletoe, um, which is currently just sitting in some water to keep it fresh. So I think I'm going to hang this up somewhere, maybe off the light fitting in the hall. Um, so it's like you can have a little kiss when you come into the flat. So my dad is here now and he's going to help me put the lights on the tree because it's actually really tricky when it's over eight foot tall. And then JJ is on his way and we're going to decorate the tree together and the rest of the flat. And I just can't wait to put some Christmassy music on, get some chocolate and just make this flat festive and gorgeous. It's a family reunion, everybody's here Gathered round the table full of holiday cheer Put on a record, nice and low So by the window we can watch the snow Oh my, oh my It's mighty cold outside So call up your friends as long as we're able yay guys the lights are up and it's absolutely glowing oh my gosh it looks so so beautiful um so yeah i think let's get the decorations on it winter came in a gust of brisk wind blowing snowflakes from the north shining stars and downtown lights 
Okay guys, the tree is done. Oh my God, I'm so happy with it. I think it's fabulous. It's chaos, but it's fabulous chaos. So are you going to do the reveal of the lights, JJ? Yeah. Let's Should check how it looks. Yes, please, will you do the honors? <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It looks amazing. JJ, can you fiddle with the lights and put them on like a, um, they've got like different settings and then we can really see the full potential. So as you can see guys, I went for like a floral tree, pink, white and gold with some animals. So I have my pig, my birds, my peacock at the top. Um, as you can also see, I haven't yet got an angel or a fairy, just because I haven't found one I like yet. So I'm gonna keep an eye out um, for an angel this year. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Mm, that's a bit lively. No. No. Yeah, this one. This is, yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have an angel yet. I'm going to try and find one this year. I didn't want to just get one just for the sake of having one. I wanted one that I really loved and it was really special. But guys, my first tree. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I think it's incredible. Look at the pig. Oh my God, if anything the pig. So I've still got all of these decorations to find a place for. My nutcracker, my handsome Father Christmas, my reindeer, peacock and the swan. Um, so I'll find places for those now. I've also got all of this stuff here, all of this um, gold like foliage, which I think I'll do in a vase maybe in the fireplace. I've got all of this extra beading, um, this really cool like pine cone thingy. I've also got all of these really cute little sparkly Christmas trees and most importantly, the mouse king and queen who I love. What's so funny about the mouse king and queen, JJ? Yeah. They're so adorable. Um, so these really need a special place in the room. And I've also got this whole box of um, even more decorations. I don't even know what's in here. There's stockings. Oh my God, that's perfect from here. Look, palm tree stocking perfect. with gold. And then all of this stuff, oh my God. I've got plenty. I don't even know where to put all of this. And my pink stocking is in here as well, my pink fluffy stocking. And I've got like a bunch of extra fairy lights as well, um, which I can just put around the room somewhere. Uh, so yeah, let's get, let's get cracking. Right, well, I'm just attempting 
to tie this piece of mistletoe onto the light with a pink ribbon so that when anyone walks into the flat they can share a festive kiss. <laughs> Which I practice doing. It's like we need another excuse <laughs> to kiss. No, you can never have too many reasons to kiss. <laughs> oh, that looks lovely. Oh, Perfect. it's the ghost. Oh, oh my god, it's the ghost of Christmas present just turned elf back on! <laughs> oh my god! Present. So guys, I am finished decorating. I'm really, really happy with how this room looks. It's festive and lovely, but it's not too much. It's not overdone. I still wanted it to be tasteful. Um, I feel like it's cozy and homely and happy, but it's still glamorous and girly. So it's basically everything I wanted. I'm so beyond happy with the tree. Like I, it's just exceeded my expectations. I just think it looks beautiful and I think it's very me. Like, I feel like anyone could look at this tree and they would say, oh yeah, that's Freddie's Christmas tree. I think it really has my personality. Um, it's over the top and it's not too full because I really wanted to make sure that I didn't like overdo it with the decorations because decorations like Christmas, ball balls and that kind of thing are the things that you kind of collect over time. And I know that my family Christmas tree at home, almost every decoration has a story or a memory. So I wanted to make sure that there was room um, for the future, basically. So I think... For my first tree, it's absolutely perfect. And I even popped a couple of little Christmas presents <laughs> underneath the tree as well. Some of my favorite decorations are, of course, the pig. The pig is magnificent. I also love the little nutcracker. I think he's so sweet. I love my macaron that I had um, before in my tree at home. Also this beautiful little Swarovski crystal snowflake. Swarovski gifted this to me last year when I did my Christmas campaign with him. It's the 2020 snowflake. Um, what else? Oh, I have my Eiffel Tower, my gold Eiffel Tower from home, my ballerina from home as well. This was actually on my family Christmas tree and I kind of stole it um, so I would have something from home on my tree. I love the little robins and of course the hair. I love how there's lots of animals on the tree. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, the little houses. I love the little houses that light up. Should we put, put it on? Oh my God, so adorable. So yes, overall, I could not be happier with the tree. Um, I think it's gorgeous. And it kind of looks like my Christmas tree at home because my mum always does a pink tree. But I feel like this is different enough. Like it still looks like mine and not my mum's tree. Um, but they are quite similar. And then over here, I really love the little like festive floral display, like the centerpiece for my table. I think it looks very magnificent. It's glitzy and glamorous. We have the swan and the Nutcracker, and it really reminds me, it's something that I don't think they do actually in the ballet, but if anyone has seen the actual cartoon of the Nutcracker from like the 90s, um, I think they actually travel 
to Toyland in swans. And that's why I kind of associate nutcrackers and swans together. I might be imagining that because I haven't seen that film in a long, long time. Um, but yeah, I think that looks really, really divine. And then I decided kind of last minute to add some fairy lights into my plants just to give them a little festive look. And then I have my little festive scene in the fireplace with my father Christmas, my reindeer, and my little boot, um, which I think looks really cute. And of course, how could I forget the main man himself in a prime position on the side table in the landing. He's just the first thing you see when you come in. He greets you, he takes your keys, gets you into the festive spirit, and I just think he looks so magnificent. So guys, I'm going to leave the video here as I'm all done. I really hope you enjoyed watching me decorate the flat for Christmas, and more importantly, I hope you're excited for all of the amazing, festive, magical vlogs to come on my channel this month. So thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.